All right, so in this video, we are going to learn about a company called the Jatco LTD. This company makes a CVT transmissions and it supplies these CVT transmissions to Nissan, which Nissan have been having problems with these CVT transmissions. And uh, just imagine getting a, trans a new car and 40, 000, about 40,000 miles later, it starts having transmission problems and you take it to the dealership and they add, tell you that it needs a new transmission at 40,000 miles. So these CVT transmissions have had a bad reputation in the last 20, 20 years, 20 years or so, in which um, Nissan has been having problems with these CVT transmissions, but these CVT transmissions come from Jatco LTD. Nissan itself doesn't make these CVT transmissions, but Nissan is a very interested in Jatco LTD and we are going to learn about the history of Jatco LTD and why Nissan is their main customer. On top of this, these same CVT transmissions that Nissan uses, other car makes or other car manufacturers use the same CVT transmissions that Nissan uses, which Nissan have, has been having problems with these CVT transmissions and they are used in other car makes out there. All right, so we are going to learn about this company called Jatco LTD. In the last two videos that I made about the CVT transmissions that Nissan uses, um, one of them was about the Nissan models that use the CVT transmission and the other video was about if you already own one of these Nissan models with the CVT transmission, what can you do to prolong the life of this CVT transmission, right? And you can check those videos out right here and uh, you can watch it right now if you want to watch it and or you can watch it later after this uh, this video is done. After you're done watching this video, then you can click on the icon uh, right here on this corner and uh, you can watch those two videos, all right? So uh, let's learn about the history of this uh, Jatco LTD company, which makes these CVT transmissions uh, for Nissan and why Nissan is more interested in the CVT transmissions that Jatco LTD makes. All right, so in uh, 1943, Nissan established a, uh, a production plant for, to make uh, uh, engines for aircrafts for war. At, at that time, there was the war going on, World War II. And then after World War II, this plant began producing parts for Nissan cars. And then in 1970, that Nissan plant came together and became one company with uh, Japan Automatic Transmission Co. Ltd. This company, Japan Automatic Transmission Co. Ltd., was owned by Mazda and Ford Motor Company, the Ford Motor uh, Company in Japan. So this uh, this company was in Japan, but it was owned by Mazda and was uh, and by Ford. And so uh, this uh, plant that Nissan owned became one with the uh, uh, Japan Automatic transmission called LTD. So it became one company in uh, 1970. And then uh, in 1989, this company changed its name to Jatco Corporation. Uh, so that's how they got their name and that's when they got their name. And uh, so it became Jatco Corporation. In June 1999, Nissan started another company which they called uh, Trans Technology LTD. This company, Trans Technology LTD, they started developing their CVT transmissions. So it, they started developing their CVTs in 1999 in Trans, Trans Technology LTD. And then in, in October 1999, Trans Technology LTD and Jatco Corporation, the company that Nissan already had part in, which joined to, uh, together with uh, the, this company that was owned by Mazda and Ford Motor. And uh, so they joined together in, 19, in October 1999, Trans Technology LTD and Jatco Corporation. So they joined together and became one company, which 
they called Jatco Trans Technology Ltd. In 2001, Jatco Trans Technology Ltd. merged together with the Mitsubishi Motor uh, Transmission Division and uh, they, they, they merged together to, 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 to create one company and then in 2002 they changed their name to Jatco Ltd. the name that they are known for nowadays so there were a there are a couple of companies involved in the ownership of Jatco Ltd. but Nissan is the main company that's that owns Jatco Ltd. as of March 2015 uh, as of March 2015 Nissan owns 75 percent of Jatco Ltd. and then the other 25 percent is owned by two other companies which uh, 15 percent is owned by Mitsubishi and then 10% is owned by Suzuki. So there are three main companies that own Jatco LTD but the main one is Nissan and that's why Nissan is more interested in putting these the Jatco LTD transmission CVT transmissions in the, in their uh, models because Jatco LTD is mostly owned by Nissan. Jatco LTD has become one of the biggest suppliers of CVT transmissions out there to nearly every automaker out there and except for uh, Toyota, Honda, Hyundai, Audi and Subaru uh, Jatco doesn't supply uh, CVT transmissions to these five companies uh, which is Toyota, Honda, Hyundai, Audi and Subaru now Chevrolet or uh, GM, GM makes uh, makes most of their of their transmissions, but they do uh, kind of uh, get transmissions from other companies like Jatco Ltd. They do get uh, CVT transmissions from uh, Jatco Ltd. But mostly GM makes their they make their own C, they make their own transmissions. And so, but uh, let's talk about which companies or which automakers use the CVT transmissions that Jatco LTD uh, supplies to which it, which are the same CVT transmissions that uh, Jatco LTD supplies to Nissan that list or that those car manufacturers are uh, Renault, Mitsubishi, Dodge, Jeep, uh, Suzuki, Infiniti Chrysler, GM and obviously Nissan. So those are the car manufacturers that uh, Jatco LTD supplies CVT transmissions to. And so if you want to know which models have this, these Jatco LTD CVT transmissions in them, you can, uh, I'm going to include uh, links in this video so you can see if the, the car that you have or the, the, the model that you're looking to buy has the CVT transmission in it from Jatco LTD. Most people don't know if they, they're, the car that they're buying has a CVT transmission in it. Most people don't know because it, it kind of it almost is like a automatic transmission. You shift it the same, the same, same, it's the same thing with the lever. You put it in park, reverse, drive, things like that. And so it doesn't have it, you can't see the difference unless you read it on the sticker underneath the hood of the, of the, of the car. And uh, when you buy the car, it should say use only CVT fluid. Right, so then you know it's it has a CVT transmission in it. But most people don't do that. Most people when go people go buy a car, a new car, they don't look if it has a CVT transmission in it because they don't know that it that CVT transmissions exist, which stand for continuously variable transmission. But it's mostly known for CVT transmission, continuously variable transmission. And so, but uh, Nissan has been getting a lot of heat on these CVT transmissions because they have been going out between 40,000 miles to 140,000 miles and so any any anywhere between 40,000 miles to 140,000 miles these CVT transmissions have been going out and this problem has been going on for almost like uh, nearly 20 years now and 
So why is that? Why is Nissan not doing something about it, right? But Nissan don't doesn't make the CVT transmissions. Jatco LTD is the company that make the that makes these CVT transmissions, which which they supply to Nissan and other car manufacturers out there. All right, so that's it in this video. Um, if you have liked this video, if this video adds value to your life, then let me know in the comments. Tell me why you like this video. And if you like it, hit the I like it button. If you don't like this video, then hit the I don't like it button. And tell me in the comments why you didn't like the video. What I can improve, what, what is it? Is it the audio? Is it the light? Is it, uh, is it my voice? Is it <laughs> whatever it is? Um, tell me what I can improve in my videos. Uh, I'm trying to improve it. I'm, I'm trying this. Um, uh, I've looked at my videos like that I've made before and I I don't like the way that I uh, I do them and so I'm trying to change things and come up with a way that I'm comfortable with and that you will like and so let me know if this is better or if this video is better than my, my other uh, videos which are right here you can check those out right here in this in this corner uh, of, the, of this video so you can see what the quality is if if it's improved if this video is improved or or if it hasn't improved at all all right so thank you very much uh, subscribe to my channel i make videos like this um, i i try to upload every week but uh, i'm a mobile mechanic and so i got a business that i have to take care of and so i got things going on receipts and voices things like that and so um but if you comment in this video i will get to you and uh, answer to, to your comment. It might take a while because I got a lot of things going on, uh, but I will get to you. I will answer to your comment, and so thank you very much. Some of you have been uh, sending me messages on Facebook at Wrench Link, and which is okay. I um, it, it's okay with me. Um, and uh, you've been asking me questions about your cars and things like that. So thank you for that. And uh, if you want to check my uh, page, my business page on Facebook, which is at uh, Wrench Link you can check that out you can i'm also on instagram at wrench link thing and so thank you very much and i'll see you in the next video